This video will teach you about levels of organization in terms of biology. Levels of organization is known as a hierarchy, which you can think of as a series of steps, or more like a pyramid that we'll see a little bit later. The lowest level in our hierarchy is the cell. The cell is the basic unit of structure and function in living things. And this is going to be our working definition for cell even if it looks a little bit different on the later slides. I've gone back and re-edited this slide. But um, the cell is a basic unit because it's the smallest thing in, in a body that will do all of the functions needed to um, keep something alive. We can see a diagram, a computer-generated uh, image of some cells, and this is going to be the lowest level of organization in our body. So let's look at the next highest level. The next level of organization is tissue. A tissue is a group of cells that perform the same function. And for our example, you can see, oops, no, that's not what I want to move, I want to use this. You can see a bunch of bone cells that are working together to provide support. You see a bunch of blood cells that form a collection to transport things and you see other connective tissue they all look to be similar cells and they all have the same job to do. You can see how a tissue is the next level above cells because a tissue is really a bunch of the smaller units working together like we're gonna see with the next couple of levels. The third level that we are concerned with is known as the organ. An organ is a structure made of different tissue types. So in our example here, we see the stomach. The stomach is an organ, and in this organ, it's made up of smooth muscle tissue. It's made, made up of connective tissue that holds it together. It's made up of nervous tissue to communicate with other parts of the body. It's got blood tissue in there to transport nutrients in and out of, and it's got some epithelium to provide some other structure. So an organ is a collection of the small, the next lower level, which is tissue, and again a tissue is a collection of the lowest level, which is the cell. The fourth level is known as an organ system. An organ system is a group of organs that work together for a specific function and made up of lots of different organs. In our example above we see a, oops, again, need to hit the button first. We see the skeletal system, the muscular system, this is the circulatory system, and this would be the nervous system. Each of those is an example of an organ system, lots of different organs working together. And when you get all the organ systems working together, it forms a single organism. And an organism is an individual living thing, like this bird, which is a roadrunner, or the one we're all familiar with, people, we are all organisms, but they can also be plants, they can be um, even bacteria, which is, which is uh, an organism, but a very tiny microscopic organism. As you can see from each level of organization, the next higher level is made up entirely of the immediate lower level. So a group of cells make tissues, a group of tissues make organs, a group of organs make organ systems, and the collection of organ systems makes an organism. Well, this video describes what I want you to know, but that's not really the end of the story. There are other levels of organization, too. And if you stick around for just a little while longer, I'll talk about them very briefly. But this is really just extra information above what you really need to know for right now. Okay, so from the really small picture to the really big picture, it really starts with atom. Single individuals of a particular element, like a single, single little tiny piece of oxygen, a single line, little tiny piece of gold. Um, the next level would be molecules, which is a group of different atoms. A group of molecules form an organelle, which is part of a bunch of organelles, like a nucleus, or a mitochondria form cells, 
and we've already talked about cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and organisms, but once you have an organism and you have a group of them, they form a population. A group of different populations together form in an area form a community. All of the communities in a particular little region form an ecosystem like a forest ecosystem or a desert ecosystem. And all the ecosystems in a geographic region of Earth form a biome. Now there's a couple more levels like hemispheres and planet, but I just think that's a little excessive and nothing on this slide is what you really need to know for class. It's really just from your extra information if you're curious. Thanks for watching.